Hey everyone, what is up? It's MHA here, and today I want to discuss something. So, as I told you guys before, I'm not the skinniest person in the world. I'm not. So, it's hot out here, right? So I decided to put on my One Punch Man shirt <laughs> and, and some shorts. And due to due to today's society, th things such as <laughs> things such as clothing things such as like clothing and how people are supposed to act and all that stuff are changing. So, like I was saying, I, I, um, so I put on some clothes so I don't come outside looking like a complete retard. And I decided to put on some shorts because, you know, if you got it, flaunt it. Like, I have very thick thighs, six, that, which expand to the size of Texas when I sit down. Um, <laughs> But that's besides the point. So these people are driving past me and just kind of looking at me. And I'm looking back at them like I'm making sure to look at their faces as they walk past to see if I can like catch a reaction out of them. Like I'm not wearing this for, like I'm not wearing these shorts for attention. But these shorts that I'm wearing are too short. They're they're almost like um, what do they call them? Booty shorts. Um, and it's really hard to find a decent pair of shorts these days, since so many people are changing the way they design clothes due to how society is turning out right now. Like. Some girls are showing off more skin than they're supposed to, or than they used to. And guys haven't changed all that much except for rompers. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm getting these dirty, these dirty looks from people when they drive by. And I'm just waiting for one of them one day just to pull up next to me and be like, Hey, go change. There's a kid coming up the sidewalk. Come on, you go. But yeah. It's a problem with scooters in this neighborhood. We're not going down here. Stop it. So yeah, I'm a I'm a chunky girl. But it doesn't mean you should shoot dirty looks at me just because I don't care what other people think I look like. Let's see. It's people just drove by, just looked at me as if I was crazy. This is not, I'm, I'm recording a video and talking about why I'm not afraid to be myself. If it's hot outside, then I'm going to wear what I can to be cool. But yeah, people have been shooting me a dirty looks. Like, who cares what I'm wearing? All you should worry about is keeping your eyes on the road so you don't crash like stop looking at me and pay attention to the other things in life so what if I have thick what if I have big thighs that's gonna happen I'm trying so it's like you stay in your lane and I'll stay in mine even if I step out of it a little bit and you don't seem to like it, I don't care.
I don't. I had to hide my camera and shut up for a second because people was walking by. And, you know, stuff. It's like, I'm, I'm being quiet. Like, I'm not I'm saying all this stuff about not people, not caring what people think about me, but I'm sitting here not talking and not looking at the camera while people drive and walk by. It's because I don't want them to um, be up in my business. I have the right to privacy, and I know I do because I read the human rights. I did, and that was my favorite one, the right to privacy. Yes. Okay. We are ready to go home. Come on. We're not going after Jeff. But yeah. So these people were just giving me dirty looks. And there's another car coming, and I'll see if I can <clears throat> see if I can get him. Don't know if you saw it or not, but all three of them people in that car. We're just looking at me. They actually slowed down and look at and looked at me. And the 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 woman in the passenger seat looks like she was about to say something. And I would have just showed her my camera, be like, I'm catching just all of what you're saying on my phone, and I plan to put this on YouTube. Sorry. It's like I don't know how to edit properly, so you're just gonna have to deal with me putting you on YouTube because I've been watching a lot of people you know I've been watching a lot of news and stuff on YouTube people try people disrespecting service dogs normal dogs disrespecting people grown-ups being crazy like there's this one video where this dude was in a Walmart with his service dog and a girl comes up and says, ooh, doggy, can I pet him? Like, she was an adult woman. And she comes up and says, ooh, can I pet your dog? And the man tells her, no, he's a service dog and I don't want you to distract him, so can you please leave? And, you know, she stands there and they look at each other for a while. This was captured on a GoPro, so it was like on top of his hat or something. And she wouldn't go away. She so he said a few cuss words to her after she wouldn't leave the dog alone. And he started to go away. And she's like, I'm gonna follow you. And she says, I'm gonna follow you. I got two working feet, which I found offensive because this man, he he was in a wheelchair like one of those electric wheelchairs and I kind of looked at the screen like some people some people are getting stupider by the day I swear they are stupid and you know the the video the man in the video said the 30 minute trip to Walmart turned into an hour and a half because idiots wouldn't leave his dog alone which if you see a service dog leave it alone Leave it alone. It's trying to do its job. It's trying to do what it was trained for. Watch this next person gonna come up and look at me. Uh, 
and more people just looked at me. Peachy, I don't know if you saw them, but they looked at me. I told you we're not going down here. My dog is so hard-headed. Come on, I want to go home. Mosquitoes are getting at me. But yeah, I shouldn't be judged for wanting to be myself. I've actually had that happen to me kindergarten through fourth grade and then in fifth grade it stopped and then sixth grade it started up again and now I'm in eighth grade and 